Welcome back to day two of holiday treats and Christmas cookies. Today we'll be making these peanut butter sandwich chocolate coated cookies and with only three ingredients they'll whip up in a snap. Let's get started. The things you'll need to make these cookie sandwiches are one box of Ritz crackers. This box has four sleeves in it and we'll be using three of those sleeves. A jar of peanut butter and also one package of chocolate flavored almond bark. The first thing you're going to want to do is to chop up your almond bark and throw it into your crock pot. You then want to turn it on low and cover it. Next you're going to want to take a Ritz cracker Smear about a teaspoon of peanut butter on one side. You're then going to take another Ritz cracker and sandwich them together and squeeze them together. If any peanut butter runs out the side with a clean finger, just run it along the edge and set it down. And that just makes it look a little more professional. Now you want to do that to all of your Ritz crackers and I find with the amount of almond bark that I have three sleeves of Ritz crackers are perfect. I'll meet you back here when I have these all peanut buttered up. Alright guys, this is my last tray. I got about two trays worth of these cookies. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is put these into the refrigerator for about 30 minutes or I'm sure you could put them into the freezer for 15 minutes if you want to speed it up a bit. Alright guys, it's been about 30 minutes. I have my chilled peanut butter crackers here. And you don't have to chill them, but I find that if you don't and you throw them in the hot chocolate, they tend to slide around, so you just have to be careful. Now, as you can see, I did switch to a smaller crock pot. I don't know what I was thinking. Using such a large one, clearly I was overcompensating for something. But our chocolate here is now melted. And it's nice and smooth and liquidy. And the great thing about using a crock pot is that the crock will stay warm so your chocolate won't seize up and get hard before you're done dipping all your cookies. Now the key to making these look professional and not just like big blobs of chocolate is to use a slotted spoon and a knife. You're just going to take one of your cookies and throw it right into the chocolate. Cover it up. Make sure that it's completely coated. And then you're just going to tap, tap off any extra chocolate. I like to keep tapping until I can see the end dent of the cracker. Now you just want to take your knife and run it under your spoon to knock off any loose chocolate and then carefully place it on a piece of wax paper or parchment. And just do it again. I'm going to do the rest of these and I'll be right back. And they should look like this. Now we're just going to let these set out on the counter for about an hour to harden up. You can see some of the ones in the back back here are already starting to harden up. These cookies are so fast to make and so delicious. 
They taste exactly like those chocolate peanut butter covered cookies that you get from those scary little girls that go door to door. Now I hope you give this recipe a try. If you like my video and want to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this video, don't forget to leave me a comment. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.